Why do I suck at YouTube? <laughs> My numbers aren't great. I don't have many subscribers, many views. Those of, you, those of you watching, I mean, like, you can see the numbers. It's, it's plain. It's easy to see. And I was wondering if, like, any of you out there could relate to that. Relate to this experience of making videos and making them for a decent amount of time and seeing very little f tangible fruit, I guess you could say, or, or fruit in regards to numbers and what seems like growth in analytics or whatever. These things aren't hard to notice when you are, you want to grow on a channel. It's pretty, pretty blatant. And over the years of making these videos, that's been a challenge for me that has been brought up. It has forced me to think critically and ask questions of why am I doing this? Or who am I doing this for? Or what am I doing it for? Am I doing it solely for myself? Am I doing it just to please others? Am I doing it to try to make money and get rich or something? And I think these are very common ones that are thought of when, when someone makes content on YouTube or really any sort of social media or any platform for that matter. And, and I've had to think really thoroughly on that aspect. So why am I, am I doing this for myself? Am I just solely making videos to put them out there and feed that creative itch? Am, am I doing it for others to try to please them and go and follow the trends that are going on, which is, I feel like a very common one, just trying to keep up with this ever-changing trend or trying to catch the wind, so to speak. Am I doing this for money? Am I trying to, once again, trying to fit into these trends or these molds that are gonna, I guess you could say, catch fire or something and give you a quick buck. It's almost like a get rich quick scheme, which doesn't really work. Those don't work in general. Maybe for like a very, very, very small percentage of people. So this has put me in a place, and that's why I wanna make this video, cause like, I'm just being transparent. I look at my numbers and every, in my subscribers and my views, and it's low. It's, it's nothing to take another look at. You just uh, go, oh, okay, I mean, <laughs> like this guy just, Whatever, I don't know. I don't know all the things that could go into that. Like, oh, this person is, I guess, not successful in their YouTube or has failed in the YouTube videos. Maybe they look like they're just beginning or doesn't get it, like something along those lines. And those are all thoughts that have crossed my mind in, in the past and even sometimes now. But the biggest thing I've had to come to is Understanding my motive of why I'm making these videos, understanding the why behind them, which is a big theme in why I create things, is, is understanding why, and why do I do these things, and why do I do these things from day to day, and asking that question. A big one is just to be creative. Get that creative itch. Feed that and maintain that domain in my life of creativity. It's therapeutic to a degree to be put in a place to think critically and come up with something that I can share. It's, it feels great, it's not easy, but there's continued growth in that process. And one thing doing YouTube is broad is forced me to think critically about so many things in regards to creation or creativity, but also in the world and l sharpen my skills and, and learn new skills, which has brought me to new places like being able to freelance video or just learning. <laughs> taking, seeing the day differently. And how can I really capture this day? Another why behind what I'm doing is just to, is, is really is also to build a brand. To build a brand and a dream, I would say, is to be able to create whatever inspires me, whatever I'm very, very passionate about and let that be a source of income, essentially. Be a source of being able to maintain a quality of life that I'm hoping to live and support those around me and those outside of my sphere as well. That just goes beyond me, whether that's through wealth or through knowledge. I would love to be able to touch people's lives in that aspect and also like maintain mine <laughs> in that aspect. That is very much a dream um, and a hope and also another driving motive as to why I even do this. But. These two things are like 
on the same coin. It's not one above the other. I do it for creativity and it's therapeutic and to create new skills, but I also do it because I want to build a brand. It's two sides of the same coin. And I want to challenge you, for those of you that are even thinking about making videos or are already doing it, maybe even f quite well into it and doing great. What is your motive behind what you're doing? What is your motive for being on YouTube or creating content, creating video, creating music, creating art, running business? What is your motive behind it? Why are you doing it? Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time and hope that you liked it enough to click the button down below, subscribe and the like and whatever. Share your comments if you feel the need to. So yeah, see ya.